Hi everyone, Mr. Erdreich here with another classic tutorial video where I'm going to show you how to create a button that is pressable with your mouse in the P5.js language. So what we're looking at is a program that I wrote in P5.js on openprocessing.org and it's a pretty simple brick breaker program where I press space to start my game and then I can play brick breaker. Now what I want to do is I actually want to instead of say press space, I want to say click to play and then put some type of button here that when I click my mouse it actually starts the game. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rectangle that's going to be my button. You could import an image and if you want to see how check out my other videos and I'm going to go to my splash screen function here and the splash screen is simply what appears when I press play so right now we're looking at the splash screen but in theory you can do this in any looping function so draw would be fine or another function that you've looped. So I'm going to create a fill color of yellow to match my game. And then I'm going to draw a rectangle that's somewhere in the middle of my screen. So I'm going to set the X position to be 400, the Y position to be 300. The reason I'm doing that is because the size of my canvas here is um, 800 by 500. So 400 would be halfway for the width. And then 300 would be kind of not quite in the middle, but sort of towards the bottom. And you could, of course, put in whatever positions you want. You could also use variables instead. So you could put in like button X and button Y. If your button's going to move location, you definitely want to do that. But my button's not going to move. So I'm just using static coordinates. So 400 for X, 300 for Y. I'm going to set the button to be 200 wide and then 50 tall. Um, and this should draw button. And if I press play, I should see, yeah, here's our, here's our yellow button. Fun tip, if you add another number with your rectangle, like for example, if I put five, a fifth number, it's gonna round the corners with a pixel. So now I have a radius of five. I'll make that a bigger number so it's a little bit more obvious here for you to see. So I'll not have a nice rounded button instead. So that looks great, okay? If I wanna be fancy, I could even take my press space to start and I'm actually going to delete it and move it below the button. And I'm going to, I need a text size as well, so we'll, drop the font size down a little bit. So I'll make this a little bit smaller, like 10. And then I'm gonna make the position of my text box the same as my button. And hopefully that's gonna draw, press space to start. And then just lower it a little bit for Y. Let's go like 310. Try to center it here on my button. Yeah, that looks pretty okay. Uh, and then we'll say click to start. Lovely, but unfortunately that doesn't actually do anything. I have to now program this. So there's two commands we need to know, or I guess one command and one variable. Um, the first is mouse is pressed. So for example, if I say if mouse is pressed equals equals, sorry, equals equals true, this is saying did I click my mouse? And this is left click. Did I click my mouse? And to start my game, I need to change my stage, which I talk about in my other videos. So right here, if stage uh, becomes one, I will start my level one function. So all I need to do to start my game here is say stage equals one, and this would start game. But to be super clear, you could do anything here, right? So if you wanted the button to change the background color, you could drop in a background command, the fill color, right? And if statement can do anything you want. So I'm gonna say close, if press or click, I'll use, keep using the same word here for my comments. So if I run my program and I click on my button, my game starts. But here's the catch. If I click anywhere, the game's gonna start because I just said, if the mouse is clicked. I didn't say if I click in a specific location and that location is my button. So we need to be a little bit more specific. What I need to do is I need to say, all right, if my mouse is somewhere on this shape, so if the X position of my mouse is greater than the left side, but less than the right side, if the Y position is greater than the top, but less than the bottom, and I'm clicking, then start the game. So if my pointer is somewhere in this boundary, and I talk a lot more about collisions in my other videos, so if that doesn't make sense, make sure you check out my channel for more details. So we're gonna use the mouse X, mouse Y variables, and these are pre-existing variables. So if I say, if uh, mouse x is greater than or equal to the left side of my box and the 
x position my box is 400, so that's the middle is 400, the width is 200. So I would go 100 less, so that would be a position of 300. And end, mouse x is less than or equal to the right side, so that would be 400 plus 100, so that's 500. And end, mouse y is greater than or equal to the top of my box, so that would be 300 minus, uh, where's my, my height, 50, so 300 minus 25, half of the height, so that would be three, I'm sorry, 275. The reason is vertical is a negative y. If you're going up, it's negative y. And, and mouse y is less than or equal to uh, my y position plus half my height, so that would be three, two, five. And, and mouse is pressed equals equals true. So now we're saying if the x position of the mouse is in the right spot, if the y position of the mouse is in the right spot, and I click, we should start the game. So I press play. I'm going to start clicking. Right now I'm clicking. I know you can't tell, but I'm clicking all over my screen and I got nothing. I move my mouse and I click and I have a button. Again, please check out my channel for more videos if you have any questions. And thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.